Hey everyone, so for those of you who follow me closely, three months ago you will have heard me mention that I recently implemented an exit intent pop-up for one of my websites. And today I wanna to show you the results from that exit intent pop-up after three months. So the problem that I was facing with this website is it had a very, very low advertising revenue. So I was only making about seven or eight dollars per thousand visitors, and that was with Ezoic Premium. Without Ezoic Premium, I was looking at somewhere down around five or six dollars per thousand visitors. So I needed to find new ways to monetize these visitors that were coming to my website. And that's what we call revenue stacking, where we find new ways to generate revenue from already existing visitors to a website. Now, common ways to do revenue stacking would include adding new affiliate links to your website, uh, adding other sort of affiliate programs in maybe the, the sidebar, or maybe selling an ebook or info product to your existing customers. For me, I decided to use an exit intent pop-up. The pop-up appears when a person tries to scroll to the X exit screen. So here's an example. Uh, on the One Hour Professor website, Professor Ron, who's a member of this community, you might follow him on YouTube as well. He has a website, One Hour Professor, and as you scroll on the way out, an exit intent pop-up comes up that says, want to learn the truth about online business, click here, and then you get like a free sort of uh, click magnet if you give him your email address. For me, I didn't want to get get gather emails for this site. I just wanted to get more money from people. So what I did was I decided to find an offer that I could offer everyone on that exit intent pop-up. So what I did is I went to uh, a bunch of these sort of um, networks that offer uh, affiliate programs, ClickBank, CJ Affiliate, Max Bounty, etc. And I looked through them and I tried to find a good offer that I could, could provide to my audience that were fitted within the niche. Uh, one thing that I did come across is that a lot of the times on these networks, you are told you're not allowed to use pop-ups for the affiliate links. So make sure you find one that lets you place the affiliate link in a pop-up. The other option, of course, is if you write an ebook, just get a picture of the ebook and put it on that exit intent pop-up and then have a button saying, click here to buy the ebook. So for example, if you're in sort of a food niche, uh, you might go into the food section of ClickBank. Uh, this is a, you can see on the screen here, this is the ClickBank uh, database where you can search for offers on ClickBank. You can scroll down and you can try to find one that you think looks like a good one uh, for your audience. And you can see here, say for example, that bottom one there is a plant-based recipe cookbook and you'd make $15 for every sale. Now, I've never actually succeeded with ClickBank. I used a different network. I think it's AvantLink, I'm not sure. Um, but this is just an example. ClickBank's a pretty popular one. One thing that I do look out for is I actually click onto the landing page that's provided. And I find with ClickBank, a lot of the landing pages, after they've clicked that link to go over to buy the book, uh, they will end up on this really ugly, like early 2000s looking landing page. And I kind of think who's gonna convert with that? So I try to make sure that I find an offer that's got a really nice uh, landing page that I think will convert well. And I like to make you know a couple of dollars, maybe five, 10, 20 dollars per conversion to make it worth my while, especially if I could sell an ebook for 20 dollars. Uh, I want to make at least that much for a conversion uh, with this exit intent pop-up. So how I made my exit intent pop-up, I used Elementor Pro. It costs 50 dollars per year. Uh, there are other pop-up uh, methods. Uh, I've tried a whole bunch. Elementor was the one that I was happiest with and most comfortable with. It was the easiest one to create. Um, a lot of other ones, they ended up with sort of scroll bars on the pop-up. It looked really weird. So Elementor seemed to be working most effectively for me. There's a link in the doobly doop. Uh, it's an affiliate link for uh, the Elementor Pro. Uh, you have to get Elementor Pro if you want the pop-up. So yeah, I'd appreciate if you want to try to have an exit intent pop up, uh, I'd appreciate you using my Elementor Pro uh, affiliate link. Uh, another one you can use is ConvertBox, it's brand new, and they have a pretty cheap lifetime offer. It's like, two, uh, I think it's $400, um, which I know sounds like a lot uh, to people who aren't making uh, that much money on their websites, because it's probably like more than a lot of people are making per month, so it's not worth their while. Um, so maybe stick with Elementor Pro, which is a little bit more affordable. You know, dividing that into a year, it's like, you know, it's less than five bucks a year. Uh, sorry, less than five bucks a month. So let's get to my results. Um, so in the first month, 
I got made $141.20 from the exit intent pop-up. On the second month, I made $246, and the third month, $342. I don't know why it increased from month one, two, to three, uh, but you know that, that's the way it is. Uh, I still had similar amounts of visitors each of those months. It's just that some months it converted better for some reason. Um, but for me, that represented about an extra 10% in revenue, uh, which is significant. Um, you know, $300 a month is very significant. It's, it's, it's a good amount of money. And, uh, you know, an extra 10% maybe increases my EPMV, for example, by a dollar. So instead of making six to $8 per thousand visitors, it's more like seven to $9 now. So it's, a, it was a successful, I think, uh, way of monetizing. Uh, if I were to do it again, I mean, I'm keeping it the way it is, but if I were to do, do it again or change anything, I'd probably try to sell my own ebook and see if that got even more money per thousand visitors. But for now, I'm quite happy with that extra 300 ish dollars per month for that exit intent pop-up. And I would say that this case study was one of the more successful case studies that I've done, and I'm gonna, gonna keep using it uh, into the future. So if you've got any questions about exit intent pop-ups uh, or, you know, how to find affiliate products, that sort of thing, uh, feel free to leave questions in the uh, comments below.